So welcome to TechnoDad Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on uh, today's episode, we're going to be installing Firefox into our server so we can have a more secure way of browsing the internet. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And so our goal today for likes is 125. So please like this video. And here we go now. The okay, first thing we're going to do is type in J Lessage here. And we're going to scroll down to Firefox. Click on that and start. Once that's done, click close. Next, we're going to click on Firefox. First, we're going to go to the info page. Scroll down to usage. And so, very simple. So, we're going to Name this Firefox, go to port 5800. We need a config file and shim size two gigabyte is the memory size. So we need to add that at the bottom of the file. Then let's head back to our open media vault. Highlight Firefox, click run image. Container name is Firefox. Restart policy is always bridge mode. We need 5800. Hit the plus sign. <clears throat> if you want to use VNC, then you would use 5900. Next, we're going to go down to container path, hit slash config. Then we're going to go to our server. Uh, we're on the think server, click app data, and then create a Firefox folder. Once you're done with that, click close. Go back to host path, go to shared files, app data, Firefox, okay, hit the plus sign. And then we're gonna go down to extra arguments and we're gonna put in that dash dash shm dash size space 2g and then we're gonna click save. Now what we're gonna do is copy our IP address and then put colon 5800, hit enter. And there you can see we're in Firefox and let's check a couple things here. Let's see if videos run. So let's go to YouTube and we'll go to Technodad Life. And let's just click on one video and see if it works. And you can see it does work, although there's no volume. If we go back to our container and we hadn't added in this size, this uh, size argument here, then uh, Firefox does not play videos. It will just be a text application. So, so a quick and easy way to have Firefox running on your server. Uh, so that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.